Hi boys and girls, today we're going to practice reading and writing the numbers 9 and 10. You need your math workbook and a pencil. Press pause, go get those things, and press play when you're ready to start. Open up your math workbook to page 125. 125 is a 1, 2, 5. Once you get there, Put your name at the top of the page. Take a look at the picture. I want you to count the hats in each group with me. We're going to use our pencil to cross off the hats as we count them because remember, when we cross off an object, it tells us that it's already been counting counted so we know which objects will still need to be counted. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many hats are in this group? Nine. This is the number nine and this is the number word nine. Let's spell the number word nine together. So tell me all of the letters. N, I, N, E. What word is that? Nine. Let's write the number nine together. So start on that green dot. Say make a loop and then a line. That's how we make number nine. Let's do that again. Make a loop and then a line. That's how we make number nine. Now this book is having us make a number nine that is slanted. But when I make the number nine, I make a loop and then my line goes straight down. So next to that box, can you make a number nine again with me? Ready? Say make a loop and then a straight line. That's how we make number nine. So this is the number nine. We counted nine hats in this group. Let's count how many hats are in the second group. Cross off the hats as you count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many hats are there? 10. This is the number 10 and this is the number word. Let's spell that number word together. T-E-N. What word is that? 10. I know the number 10 is made up of a one with a zero, so touch that first green dot. Let's make a number one together. I can make a one for you. Straight line down and now I'm through. Go ahead and make a zero. Start up high, circle round like a hero. That's how we make number zero. A one with a zero make the number 10. Let's practice making the number 10 again so I can make a one for you. Straight line down and now I'm through. Start up high, circle round like a hero. That's how we make number zero. Go ahead and turn to the next page in your math workbook. You should see the numbers nine and 10 at the top of your page. So we're going to count the animals. We're going to say how many, and then we're going to practice writing that number. We're going to use our pencil to cross off the objects as we count them so we know what objects were already counted and what objects still need to be counted in the group. Ready? Let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many are there? Nine. Let's trace this number nine together. And remember, this one is slanted. I'm going to draw my line straight up and down. So touch that green dot, say make a loop, 
and then a line. That's how we make number nine. Let's do that again. Touch the green dot. So trace that loop, say make a loop, and then a straight line. That's how we make number nine. We're gonna make that number nine one last time. And remember, this book has a slanted line. I want our line to go straight up and down. So touch that green dot, say make a loop, and then a straight line. That's how we make number nine. Let's count those giraffes. Cross them off as you count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. How many are there? Ten. Let's trace the number ten together. I can make a one for you. Straight line down and now I'm through. Start up high, circle round like a hero. That's how we make number zero. Go ahead and trace that number ten again. We always start at the tippy top on our skyline. The number 10 is a one with a zero. Go ahead and write the number 10 one more time on your own. Now you want that one and zero to be pretty close together because a one with a zero makes the number 10. If those numbers are too far apart, it won't look like the number 10. They belong close together. Take a look at number three. We're going to count those hippos. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many hippos are there? Ten. Trace the number ten. And then practice writing the number ten on your own. A ten is a one with a zero. I want you to do the same exact thing on the next page. So you're going to count the animals, cross them off as you count them, then say how many. I want you to pick up your pencil and write that number three times next to each group. So complete page 127 on your own and 128. If you'd like extra practice, you can complete the homework for lesson six. When you're all done, take a picture and send it to me on Seesaw.